Hey, hey, it's your tech edit here and in this video I'll be showing you how you could use the Signal Messenger app. So let's cut the talk and get started. <laughs> Just a short background about Signal. Signal is a cross-platform encrypted messaging service developed by the Signal Foundation and Signal Messenger. It uses the internet to send one-to-one -one and group messages which can include files, voice notes, images, and videos just like your typical uh, messaging app. Why it became so popular just recently was due to the recent privacy changes of WhatsApp. Anyway, Signal can be used on platforms such as Android phones, iPhones, or iPads, or even on your desktop computer. For this video, I'll be setting it up on an Android phone. To get started, let's jump to our mobile device. To get started, I'm just going to open up Google Play Store and then uh, go ahead and search Signal Messenger. And then you'll be able to see here Signal Private Messenger by Signal Foundation. Just simply hit the install button. And by the way, if you want to use Signal on your Windows, laptop, or desktop, simply go to signal.org forward slash download. And you'll be able to download Signal's app. It's also available for Mac or even on Linux. Once the installation is done, just simply hit the open button. And it will immediately load up the app. So we're going to click on the continue button and it will show you this kind of window or uh, prompt and it will ask you for the permissions for your contacts. However, I will not allow it as of this moment. In order for you to be able to register with Signal, you'll be needing to provide your mobile number. So go ahead and select first your country and I am on the Philippines so I'm just going to select Philippines and it will automatically fill up the country code right there. So I'm going to enter my phone number and hit the next button. So just wait for a while and it will send you the verification code. So once done, it will now ask you to enter your PIN. So go ahead and enter your PIN and then you'll be taken to this window. So go ahead and uh, enter your uh, name right here and hit the next button and you'll now be taken to this particular screen. This is the home screen or the home page screen of the app. So what you can do here is you could click on this um, blue button right here if you'd like to send a message. So we're going to click on that one and it will again ask you for the contacts permission. However, I will not allow it as of the moment. And uh, I'm just going to type in here using the keypad my own number just for this demonstration purposes. So you could see here that this is automatically labeled as no to self. So basically you're sending message to yourself. And uh, the basic features of this messaging app is fairly simple. You have here at the bottom a camera icon where you could send photos, capture photos or video. And you need to allow the app to access your camera. So hit the allow button and hit this take a picture button. And then you'll be able to see here this kind of feature where you could enter a text or a pen or this blur face. So you could go ahead and click on this blur face right here and just simply hit this um, blur face toggle button at the bottom. It will try to automatically blur out faces from the photo. So once done, you'd go ahead and send that particular picture and you'll be having that kind of blurred out image. So other uh, features such as the emojis are right here and if you would like to send some GIF or GIF, whatever um, way you'd like to pronounce it one, you could go ahead and click on this blue icon right here and uh, you'll just be able to select a gallery file or even the gif or gif it's pretty straightforward so another feature that i'd like to mention is the disappearing message this feature is not new however signal messenger gives you that kind of feature for more encryption and privacy so to use that particular disappearing message just simply go ahead and go to a particular uh, person or uh, someone like for example, I'm messaging myself right now and then go to this tree icon on the top portion of the screen. And you'll be able to see here the disappearing messages. And you could select the time where the messages would disappear after the amount of um, time you've set right here. So let's say I'm going to set it for 5 seconds and I'm just going to type in here um, 
some random words and as you can see it will be uh, disappearing after five seconds so uh, that's basically how you could use the disappearing message feature and other features are quite pretty straightforward to use the interface of signal is quite user friendly so it wouldn't be that hard for you to get used with the privacy focus messaging app and before we come to the end of this video if you ever wanted to delete your account it's also fairly easy so to delete your account just simply click on your icon right here and go to the advanced setting and you'll be able to see here the um, delete account and you'll have to enter your mobile phone number and just simply hit the delete button and it will ask you for confirmation and just simply hit the delete account and it will now go ahead and delete your account from the app so thanks for watching and uh, tuning by hope you learned something new today and if you did leave a thumbs up and comment your feedbacks to whether or not you found this video useful or even just your thoughts with the recent whatsapp private changes let me know down below and if you want to get more techie videos smack that subscribe button now till then see you in my next videos